Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls are doing? Hope you're doing great. Hope you learned something from the last video because this video is gonna be a uh, what do you call it? A continuation of that. Now, whatever we built in the last one was a very basic introduction to a function, okay? And one thing I forgot to mention was that when you have your return types, int function something, a function a, or whatever the name is, and then you have your uh, int a, int b, like from the last, um, from the last uh, tutorial, what we had was, I think we had return a plus b, right? Now this doesn't all have to match. You can have a double here, you can have a integer here, maybe a float here, maybe even a, a let's include string, just for example's sake, um, std string name or something like that. So you can have a bunch of different in parameters here. And uh, let me see what just happened. I think I'll just wait std string name okay now that worked I don't know why but still <laughs> you can have a bunch of things here and uh, you can return them together you can return but just remember you can only have one return statement because what it does it it, it exits the function no matter what you do if you do anything after this it won't work because a return statement will exit the function now I wanna show you something today we'll talk about advanced functionality with functions uh, in the next video, but today is strictly about reference parameters. Now, what we used before was regular parameters. Now, there are two terms that you'll come across in programming with C++ and probably in other languages. This is something a lot of people are confused with and have a hard time with. It's uh, pass by value and pass by reference. Now what the hell is the difference? What, what the hell is going on, right? Now pass by value basically means that in a function when you pass something into these a and b values, the, the parameters, if they are changed within the function, will the original um, variables outside, those that were passed in, will they change or not? Now value makes sure they don't change, reference do make sure that they change. Now I'll show you a few examples here. This might be a hope this isn't too long of a video, but let's make just for fun's sake. Let's make a string this time. std string. Now we're this function will expect to return a string. Now let's do this. string or let's uh, you know what we'll do. We'll actually make a void just to show you why we need pass by reference. So void change name. std string name. So this function's objective, it's a good idea, really good idea to always write your function's objective at the top. Function will change the name variable. Function will change the name variable. So this is the variable we're sending in. Okay, now this is an example of pass by value. Remember that. Now this, I'll show you an example of pass by value. We'll make another string here, std string. Uh, it could be called name, it doesn't matter. It could be the same as this, it won't matter. But I'll call it character name, for example, in a game. And the character's name is um, search, whatever. We'll just call it that. Now this is our name variable in main. This is our program here. So if I just do a std cout uh, character name and and that obviously what we'll get is if we have a system pause like that uh, what's gonna happen is we're basically just going to print out the character name which was not a good idea uh, character name not actually printing out the functions address I guess that was never mind uh, we printed out search okay so that's our character's name obviously now what this function is supposed to do is it doesn't return anything it will just have some operations in here to change the name variable I'll just do change the name variable like that so name equals let's just call it another or let's just call this Daniel 
like this. We'll have all caps. It doesn't really matter. So now I want whatever I send in here, I want that name to be changed to Daniel instead. So obviously if I have character name here and I use this function change name of character. Let's just do that to make it of character just to make it a longer name so we don't confuse it with this uh, this variable and we'll give it character name send that in there so the use of this is to actually just create a variable character name change this character name variable by using this function because remember as soon as this is occurred the computer comes here it jumps into this function and it uses this code whatever is in here so what the only thing happening here is we're changing the name whatever we're sending into Daniel and whenever we, if we print it out again obviously this should be Daniel again right now if you watch the last video you'll know the answer to that which is no it did not change this variables value into Daniel now why is that because that is pass by value which means that whatever we're sending in here this input parameter is going to copy the value of whatever we're sending in and it's gonna use that value this name character this name variable is completely different from this one it they don't have anything in common so when I change this name variable I'm only changing this local variable it only had a value copied from this real variable outside in the main function so what happens here is this local variable gets a copy of the data in this variable so whenever we change it we're not affecting this one outside now there are ways to do that uh, you have to value let's just call that value this function value and we'll copy the whole function uh, by value like that isn't really good programming grammar here by reference like that by reference like that so this is a copy of this function basically all we'll change here is ref we'll just call it ref and this val just to keep it short now this was val now we'll actually change it by using ref now obviously we don't get a different functionality just because it changes the name because it's still the same thing it's still passed by value as I show you now it will still be searched printed out no difference here even if we call both these functions now but one thing we'll do here is we'll just add a little thingy here we'll add this address operator this is called the address or referencing operator and what this does is basically make this into from a variable into an alias into a reference now an alias is a completely different thing an alias does not store data in the same way this regular variable variable would store like I said the copy of the data from this variable this will store the address okay the address in the computer memory of this actual variable that we send in here so we'll store the address and whenever we use this name alias like a shortcut on your computer desktop from a game when you open it you open the actual game that's how this is linked now to any variable we send in here so this becomes like a shortcut to the actual variable while this is just a copy a totally different variable with the data of whatever is sent in I hope this I can't explain this well enough and and I just hope you understand what I'm doing here so by adding this little operator we actually make this an alias a shortcut to any variable we send in for the hundredth time so if I run this now if I run this we have Daniel here now that's totally magic isn't it what else is magic is that I'm recording that's great okay uh, so <laughs> Daniel what happened well we call this function here nothing happened we call this function we went into the code we saw the computer saw that okay name the input here is not a regular variable it's we're going to actually keep the address of this variable outside in here so whenever this name equals Daniel occurs here we'll jump out into the computer memory to wherever this real variable is stored see how we linked it here 
and we'll change whatever data is in there to whatever we're doing in the function okay so then when we print this outside variable we'll get whatever happened in here back so that's called pass by reference this is pass by value now there are different things you can do to this to uh, to kind of optimize your program because this takes a lot of space and whatever there's, there's things you can do using references and pointers now I could do that by using a pointer as well but the problem with the pointer is that it's a little more uh, there are a lot more uses for a pointer it does it stores the, the the address it becomes passed by reference still remember pointer or a reference still passed by reference because it means that we're changing whatever we're sending in it becomes an alias to something outside that's passed by reference passed by value always means that we're just copying some data is really shallow you can't change data outside but still the way we would change a pointer is I hope you watch the pointer introduction video is that we need to do a little more stuff here now a pointer is still a pointer we can play around with it just like a regular pointer here but you need to dereference it in order to change it so this means that the, this pointer is going to point to whatever's outside and change it to Daniel and that means we would have to use the address operator because remember a pointer doesn't directly point to a carry it needs to hold the address of some variable so if you had use a pointer here instead you need to send in the parameters address using this operator here but that I, I just find it easier to use references but sometimes you need pointers we'll get into that don't worry I'm babbling too much don't worry about it just go with flow use references practice and you'll get good at it so this is an example of this and whenever I print this out uh, you'll get Daniel now there's a good use of this this is the name we're sending in and we'll use a std string and uh, let's say change for name no this is uh, this is name and this is name to name to well, actually use underscores in parameters you can you can use any type of thing you want usually people in schools don't want you to use underscores I use them only for parameters and local variables in functions and I use the small and big character things for uh, variables outside in main and stuff like global variables uh, or global variables I use capitals if you want to know nevertheless let's get back to it so this is the name to change it's a reference variable and there is a regular variable here as well called name so my idea is this I'm gonna do name to change equals name here so this function is gonna be used to get a name as a reference that we want changed and a name just a value here from outside to whatever whatever we want to change this the value of this to I hope that made sense I don't know I'll show you in practice here so so character name is the variable we want to change and I want to change it to Dan or I want to change it to Eric shout out to all you Eric's out there so we're changing the name of we're changing this variable to Eric that's basically what we're doing here name to change is the variable this name value will be Eric and if I run this we should get Eric if I turn this around if I say name equals name to change it shouldn't make a difference it should still be search okay because it's not the right order this reference variable is pointing to character name is an alias for character name and this is just a regular value so we need it in this order so this name to change should become name that's a way we can use functions to uh, influence variables outside and yeah this would work several times for different variables if I have std string my name equals uh, maybe a girl's name I don't know uh, um, I don't know any girls <laughs> I don't know um, Eric whatever I don't know that's my that's my imagination right there uh, so I want to change that into something else so I can reuse this function change ref this one I'll just comment this function out right now it doesn't do anything uh, and I want to change my name into from Erica to 
uh, straight up uh, Peter. I don't know why you want to change Erica to Peter, but you could. So I'm changing using the same function another variable into Peter. And that should not do anything because I never printed it out. Uh, let me just print out my name here. There you go. So I'm just printing that out. I don't know if this tutorial is really good, but I hope you understand. Peter is now my name after I changed it from Erica to Peter. Now to confuse you even more, even more. I use this function first to change character name to Eric. Now I'm going to change my name to whatever character name is. Okay, boom. So my name is going to get the value of character name. Let me run this. And Eric, Eric, just as expected. I hope you followed me on that, and I hope you can just watch the video again if you want to. Try to understand why references are good, and why you should use them. And an example could be in a game. You have a function called, for example, void increment e. Uh, I don't know exp like that, and you have a integer value for exp like that uh, a, a reference so you have a exp value out here int exp equals maybe zero from the beginning now you want to increment exp using some type of level character level maybe the character level is also out here int level equals one and you want to increment it using some type of algorithm okay so exp plus equals whatever it was is now maybe uh, 20 plus level times or level yeah level times 2 and and then um, I don't know uh, minus 3 some some kind of algorithm whatever you want and we'll change exp depending on the level for example so if I print out exp here before the change and then I print it out once more after the change here and I call this function in between uh, increment exp and I'll send in the exp variable and the level variable like that so the first should be zero and the second one should be anything this spits out so this is 0 and then 19 now imagine me being a level 10 character that would give me maybe that would give me 37 experience instead so this function depends on level and it uses the exp variable as a reference to change this this exp variable outside and using level now you see level didn't have to be a reference here because it's only data we're not going to change the level in this in this function so we just send it in as a value while we send an exp as a reference because we need to change it outside so you can mix and match those if you want now nothing is going to happen if you send level in as a reference it won't matter the only danger is that if you by mistake say level is equals 20 in here you'll change level you'll actually change the character's level outside now as if I don't have the reference here and you make this mistake nothing is gonna happen outside so we're safe in that respect so just remember that the, the difference between those two and you need to kinda learn when to use them and that's really good good rule to have just to kinda go with the flow try to understand what you're doing don't just make everything a reference everything a value try to understand what you want to do okay so that's my long video on reference variables, reference parameters, and call by value, call by reference, pass by value, pass by reference, and, and all that stuff. Now call by reference is uh, basically just you send in a reference or not, it doesn't matter, just remember pass by value, pass by reference, just remember that and you'll be fine. Don't get confused by what I'm saying. So try to practice this, play around with it, I hope you learned something. Hope I didn't tire you out with my voice today. It's really kind of monotone, I feel. I don't know. <laughs> I hope you guys and girls learned something anyway. And I hope you're doing great. I hope you had a great summer. Thank you so much for watching. And just take care. Just, just be good and keep learning. All right? And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right?
Bye-bye.